Hi everyone and welcome to Sustain Life Journal Yoga. Today you can go ahead and get started in Balasana Pose with your feet together, knees spread out wide, and arms stretched out in front of you. Begin to take deep inhales and exhales through your nose and start to bring awareness to where you are in this present moment. In today's class, I encourage you to gently pull your attention back to your breath into the present moment at any point that it begins to wander. Slowly start to walk your hands over to the right side of your mat, stacking your left palm onto your right hand. On your next exhale, you can slowly walk your hands over to the left side of your mat, stretching out your right side body. On your next exhale, you can slowly start to walk your hands back towards your body, sitting on your heels. Reaching your right hand up over your head and gently resting your left hand on the earth. Continuing to breathe through your nose. Inhale, lifting your hands up over your head and allowing your right hand to come down onto the earth and reaching over with your left fingertips. Take a deep inhale, lifting your hands up over your head, and on your exhale, you can gently allow your left hand to come to your right knee, twisting over towards your right side. Gently using your right hand as balance. Inhale, lifting your hands up over your head and on your exhale, you can allow your right hand to come to your left knee, twisting over to your left, continuing to breathe in this twist. your next exhale, we'll release this pose, lifting our hands up over our head and then slowly rolling over onto our hands and knees, stacking shoulders over wrists and hips over knees. We'll begin to flow through Bhitilasana and Marjilasana, allowing your belly button to come down towards the earth, chin towards the sky, tailbone lifting towards the sky, and taking a deep inhale, chin to chest, belly button in towards spine, and exhale, allowing your belly to come down towards the earth. Slowly flowing through these two yoga poses, yoga asanas, at your own pace and rhythm, and adding in any organic movements that your body needs today. Slowly start to make your way back to tabletop, gently lifting your knees, lifting your hips, and shifting back into Adho Mukha Svanasana. You can press into the palms of your hands, drawing your chest towards your knees, 
and taking a gentle bend in each knee, just warming up the body. And then eventually finding a place of stillness. Take a deep inhale through your nose, lifting your right foot up behind you. Holding here. And then on your exhale, drawing your right knee in towards your chest and allowing your right foot to come in between your hands. Breathing here in the slow lunge. And whenever you're ready, you're welcome to lift your hands up over your head, bring them onto your knee, to your hips, or even stay planted on the earth. Whatever feels best for you. On your next exhale, we'll slowly shift our hips back, straightening out our right leg, feeling the stretch in our hamstring. And you can play around with bringing your hands onto your thigh, shin, the earth, just going to where it feels good. Slowly begin to shift your hips forward, raising your left knee away from the earth, and then gently stepping it up to meet your right foot. Coming into our forward fold, Uttanasana. You can bring a generous bend to your knees, maybe find a bit of a sway. Even interlacing your fingers behind your back for a gentle shoulder stretch. These are all just suggestions. I'm just a guide in your yoga flow. You are your greatest teacher. So tune in to the cues that your body is giving you. Begin to bend your knees generously so that you can plant your hands on the earth, stepping your right foot back, and we'll come into a low lunge. So our left foot is planted into the earth and we're bending into our left knee. Again, find the hand placement that works best for you. Slowly start to shift your hips back, allowing your hands to come to your thigh, your shin, or your mat, feeling this stretch in our hamstring. On your next exhale, begin to bring your weight into your left foot, lifting your knee away from the mat, and then we'll meet, bring both feet to meet at the front of our mat, coming into Uttanasana forward fold. Take a few minutes to settle into this forward fold, taking a deep inhale through your nose and exhale. Inhale, planting your right hand in between your feet, taking a generous bend in your right knee. 
lifting your left hand up towards the sky or allowing it to rest gently on your lower back. On your next exhale, we'll release everything down towards the mat and we'll switch over to the opposite side. So bending your left knee, opening up your body. Just a quick stretch and then folding into Uttanasana. Bending your knees, allowing your bottom to come down onto the earth. We'll bring the soles of our feet onto the earth tucking our belly button in, taking a quick boat pose, breathing here, trusting the strength of our core to hold us up. And then when you're ready, you can release, drawing the soles of your feet together, sitting up tall. And then when you're ready, forward fold over your feet only going to where it feels comfortable in your body. Mindfully begin to lift out of this pose. We'll extend our right leg out, bringing the sole of our left foot to our leg, rotating our body and folding over our right leg. Slowly starting to rise up out of this pose, drawing our right foot in, extending our left leg, and then folding over our left leg. We'll begin to extend both legs out, slowly rolling onto our back, and then we'll draw the soles of our feet in, we'll move into a bridge pose. So gently lifting your hips away from the mat, staying firmly planted in your feet, and exhale, release your hips down onto the earth. One more, lifting your hips up away from the earth, but keeping your belly button tucked in to protect your back. Holding here for a couple more breaths. And slowly releasing your hips down onto the earth. We'll draw our feet together, knees out wide in Supta Konasana giving ourselves a really big hug with her arms, just thanking herself for taking the time to make space for our physical practice, maybe some emotional release, or just a moment of calm. You're welcome to enjoy Shavasana today in any pose that you'd like. If you'd like to do a more traditional Shavasana pose, you can extend your feet out to the bottom of your mat, gently rotating your hands, your palms facing towards the sky, and just begin sinking into the earth. 
continuing to keep our focus on our inhales and exhales as our Shavasana pose melts into our meditation for the day. I hope you enjoy the music and a moment of peace. And I'll let you know when the meditation is complete. Begin to deepen your inhales and exhales, maybe making small movements with your fingers and toes, gently shifting your head side to side, just finding small ways to reawaken the body and the mind to return to your day, hopefully with a little bit more awareness and peace that you can carry with you throughout the day. I really, really appreciate you taking the time to take good care of yourself and specifically for choosing to do so with Sustained Life Journal Yoga. If you'd like to learn more about sustainable living and yoga lifestyle tips, you can check out sustainedlifejournal.com and even join our newsletter. I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day, take really good care of yourself, and I'll see you next time.